Hello everybody, and welcome to Back to the Future, the game. Now, this is uh, episode one in the uh, series of the Back to the Future games by Telltale Games. So, yep, I thought I'd do a playthrough, so we're going to go ahead, new game, and jump right into it. Yes, show goals. Right, let's see how this goes. Uh, now, I haven't actually tried running it yet, so we'll see how this goes. Can't go very bad. I have no idea if it will, but whatever. But yep, this is the uh, EPG Gaming Channel where we do loads of gaming videos from our Steam group, and there'll be a link to it in the description so you can go and join and all that crap. Right, loading screens. This is always fun. Now there's five episodes of this to play through, and I'll be doing them all. So yeah, this is the first one. Here we go. I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need. Hey, hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it. Right, Jack. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing he's gonna try and get away to him. Uh, we'll see. I haven't played this before, so I don't know. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. There you go, he's going to try and get to 88 miles an hour. I wonder if it'll work. <laughs> we'll see. If my calculations are oh, correct, game crash them from this baby hits strange. 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this. And I think we just don't have that. Uh, what are we gonna go for? Um, where's the car? <laughs> what did I tell you? Hey, 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 Bob! It's the right walking dead with the, uh, what's it? The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and 0 seconds! God, someone shoot that guy, he's annoying. Ah! Ow! Doc, what would happen to the car? Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both right side of the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! I That's sent him into the future! One minute into uh, the future, to be exact, and at precisely 1.21 a.m. You put your dog in a time seconds, machine. We shall catch Why not? up with him and the time machine! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, you... You put your dog in a time machine in a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it I don't know why, but the game keeps uh, stopping the and it's a bit weird. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Look out! Nope, I think they're on their way back. Or not. Uh, Doc? That's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Uh-oh. Now I should be able to move. There we go. Okay, uh, oh god, classic bloody 90s animation. <laughs> I don't even know where this game came out, but whatever. Right, what are we doing? Click and hold left mouse. Oh, stop going so fast so I can read it. Toolbox. Notebook, notebook. There we go. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. 
the thing that makes time travel possible. Yeah, this game has a lot of cutscenes. So you don't need to talk a lot from that, but if you have a good spirit. <laughs> I never fell into the wrong hands. The consequences could be catastrophic. Could they really? I don't That's think C. so. It's mass equals high times z, uh. and e equals the square root of z times c squared, and the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional. Okay, I don't really um, want to hear that. that look. Can we get out of here before the Libyans show up? And my brain will go to mush if he carries on. And the game stopped. Oh no, it hasn't. Is there any achievements uh, this game? Doc? No. Great Scott! Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake! Oh, yes you have. <laughs> Doc! No! I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Dun 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 And here we go. Oh look it was a bad dream. <laughs> Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. And Doc was there. Oh, poor well, you're Marty. safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Let's go back to the future. The game. Right. That's the intro done. Let's see what's next. There's still a bloody another solid four episodes after this. Strange. Wonder how long it'll take us to get through number one. Just setting up the uh, rendery things when they finish the video. Save time. Right, these loading screens are ridiculously long. <laughs> Here we go. Episode 1. It's about time. Oh yeah, stuff like this I will read so that you guys don't have to. Except stuff like credits and things, I won't read those because that's pointless because no one reads credits. Why would you read credits? That's just stupid. Only stupid people do that. I apologise if you're <laughs> reading credits right now. Is there any skip those escape? Is that anything or is that the pause menu? That's the pause menu. Go away. I want the pause menu. Clicking it rapidly doesn't seem to work either. Strange. I hope all the episodes don't have this at the start of them. <laughs> well, that would be bad. I wonder if this is actually based on the TV series. I thought it would be. Dad, are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right to. Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city hell bent on using oh, his land for that new parking garage. Right and skips, hey, is that so a first I edition Jules right Verne? <laughs> it's just not fair. Well, these things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure. <laughs> Luckily, the audio uh, stops I'm before uh, everything else is remembering. Ah, right. Move out. Cool. Uh, search Doc's lab for dangerous materials. What would they be? Uh. Well, wouldn't that sort of be chemicals and things? Let's have a look for those. 
juke mocks. That is the most dangerous thing in here. Can we do it? Hey, let me try, Marty. Oh, go away, Biff, you noob. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. You got it, Mr. McFly. <laughs> what a noob. Right. Mind reading him. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Cool. All right, that's fine. The juke box. Oh, it's just that. Let's Enough of that. Cool, right. So, that didn't do anything. All that town square model. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old Oh, God, he this guy's gonna get hands. really annoying. Uh, Beth, I can't, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Uh, can I have that courthouse? That's no, probably you and my one. folks go way back. Yeah, so? So how about letting me have that model courthouse uh, for old time's sake? No, I think I'll keep it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ooh, ah. This isn't going to win well. Uh, click on the hints button. Uh, okay. Right, well, we don't need hints. So. Hey, Biff. How about the notebook is worthless? Try that. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Okay. How about the notebook reminds me of Doc? I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead! Time to get over it and move on. Oh, that was a bit below the belt. <laughs> I'll buy the notebook. I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh... Not enough! <laughs> I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. <laughs> what, is it well. set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. <laughs> God, this guy's not taking anything seriously. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? <laughs> I'll pay you for Classic it. Classic bloody thing. How much? Uh, not enough. Are we stuck in a loop? I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. Okay, it appears we've stuck in a loop, so let's exit that. And uh, never mind. See if we can get another way of uh, get the notebook. I don't really want to use the hint. Uh, electrical equipment, let's try that. Oh, that's probably something of use. Guitar. Holy crap, that's one big hey, Dad, speaker. Why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up, I'll iron things out with the bank. Left click the blink blinking inventory button to open your inventory. Oh, is that the inventory? Yes, it is. Uh, okay, so we've got the guitar use item on the amplifier. Yes, this is going to be fun. Oh god, it's a wireless amplifier. Here's Didn't the only goodie. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> hey look, it's Chuck Butthead. Someone needs to really shoot Biff right in the face. Now Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> You're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Wow, that was sizzling hot. Like a melting ice cube. Stop this, Mr. Right. Hmm. Where can we go now? Let's have a look. How about the clock? I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. 
That's weird, they all tell different times. I wonder if that's uh, anything useful in the game. Let's see if we can get it off this guy again. Hey, Biff. No, that's. Oh, crap. That's probably not gonna work. Uh, never mind. Okay, right, we need to find a way of getting it off him, but I don't know how. Oh, the electric equipment. Maybe that. <coughs> Looks like a hand crank lightning rod, or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. Okay, that didn't do anything. Let's try talking to his dad, see where hey that gets dad. us. Doc's alive. I'm well. telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know. Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. Oh, that would make a lot of sense. Uh, there we go, I need to protect this notebook. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. <laughs> uh, who's running this sale? Let's try that. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. <laughs> you. Why? Of course. Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. Right, I'm thinking if uh, we can get him to get the uh, thing off the other guy, then we might be able to uh, get it. But you will have to see in the next episode, because I'm going to end it here. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'm just going to save actually before I start. Uh, how do we save? Uh, that's one thing. Uh, I want to save, not load. Ah, there we go. Sorry, you can't save right now. Uh, okay, we'll see where that saves us. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out our group on Steam, and I'll see you in the next episode, which will probably be tomorrow. So thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed it.